Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Cooper versus Canterbury. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Cooper, you admit to a brief sexual fling with the defendant, but state there is no way you fathered her two-year-old son, Jaden. You opened your case because you claim Ms. Canterbury threatened to put you on child support and you want to prove you're not the father before she can do that. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Canterbury, you claim the conception dates for your son point to the plaintiff and you hope today's results confirm that he is Jaden's father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Cooper, explain your child support concerns. Man... I'm gonna tell you like this. Did you say man? No, I'm say I'm sorry, Judge. <laughs> judge, I'm gonna tell you like this, Judge. I watch people come in here all the time, and some people be good men and get criticized, and then they be sitting here, then all they want is just the money from them, and it ain't gonna be me today. And you're convinced that Jaden's not your biological <clears throat> child. She know that baby ain't mine. That's like she just called me last night talking about some. Would you be mad if he wasn't yours? <laughs> What? Oh, that's a lie, though. That's a lie. I never said any of that. Okay, let <laughs> me try to translate this. When you were on the phone, she was trying to give you the one-up that it may not be yours? This one-up that she should have gave me from the day he was born. Not now. So take me back. Before we get to that point, how did you all even meet? It was just we were out. She was with her people. I was with mine. It's like we just linked. I seen her some years later. She already got a reputation for being loose. Ooh. Come on now, ain't nobody got time for this. Okay. But you didn't even know me though, so how would you right. know Right. I know you. You don't know me. Okay. So wait you're a minute, what you're around. saying is, is you had mutual friends. That's how you met? Yes. And then it turned into a sexual relationship between the two of you. Y yes, but we only, we only had sex like three or four times together, that's it. And he told me while we were having sex that he wanted me to have his baby. Uh, I'm gonna stop you right there. Your Honor, she's a lie. <laughs> I never said that. But you did. He did. He said that. I ain't say that. What did you say? I see it. I'm enjoying this moment right now in so many words. <laughs> That's all I said, Your Honor. Ms. Lake, I didn't say nothing about no baby, have my baby. No, none of yes, that. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. That's a lie. That's a lie. He did. So, wait, well, well were I think you just... got me confused with somebody else. Did you say it in the heat no. of the moment, Mr. Cooper? You know, we hear that sometimes in the courtroom. Things just come out your mouth in the heat of the moment. Even in the heat of the moment, that's one thing I would never let slip out my mouth. Because that's something you don't say to a woman. Okay. They don't take that too kindly, especially if you got plans on... Oh, they work. take it kindly, all right. Yeah, they don't take... They, they... And then you... They follow through. Yes. That's why you don't say that. Okay. You get yourself stuck in something you don't want to be in. Not so, me. take me, Miss Canterbury, to the moment you find out you're pregnant. Okay, so, I, um, missed my period for a whole month. So, me and my mom took a test together, and it turned out I was pregnant. Okay. So, I had messaged Anthony and told him, and he blocked me on Facebook. Oh, so you oh, did no. send a message? Yes, I did. Oh, no, yes, she... I told him. She ain't never been stuck. Let me... She so ain't hold never on, been blocked hold on, on my Facebook. Hold on. How did you find out Miss Canterbury was pregnant? Your Honor, I was on social media. I'm scrolling. I see she pregnant. She took a picture. I liked it. She didn't say nothing. Oh, okay. I liked it, the picture. Didn't say nothing to me. This is the picture in the monitor you saw? Yeah, that's one of the pictures. I liked it a couple of them. She didn't say nothing to me. But when did you hear that you could potentially be Jaden's biological father? When I found I out call, I was pregnant. I get a, hold on, I'm talking. I get a call. And you keep I'm talking. at the house. And you keep talking. I'm at the house. I get a call. My mama called me. Some girl here with a baby. <laughs> huh? I'm still a baby. What you mean, baby? That's how I feel. I'm like, man, you got me messed up. I ain't got no kids. And that is the first time you've ever heard about Jaden. Your mom calls you and says, it's a girl over here with a baby. Man, get over here. I come over there, she gone, the baby laid in my mama's arm. My mama got attached to the baby. And just that quick? Just that quick. Now I'm in but... a hard... Now I'm in a hard spot stuck under a rock because my family done got attached to this baby. I don't know. I just can't drag him out their life like that. He's already in it. Wait, he just got dropped off. Right. 
My point exactly. That's how quick she fell in love with the baby. She told she Miss Canterbury to leave the baby there with her. She knew from the start that he was Jaden's. She said that Jaden looked how like... How old was Jaden when you left the baby with his mom? Uh, he was probably, that, like, a month old. Man, that... Yes, right. Exactly. A month old. Exactly. But now he's two years old. Yeah, almost About three. About to be three. Almost three, yep. <laughs> May I speak, Your Honor? Please. Yes. I have something to say. <laughs> you know this baby was my baby. Or you claim it to be my baby. If you had a baby and you thought a man was your potential's baby father, wouldn't you let him know whether he is or he not? You would and say something and you would and let I him did. know oh, it's a potential you could be. You would say that, right? Of course, but You're I wouldn't not have, have a potential. You're not nobody stuck in the dark living a lie. You're not gonna do that. She admitted to it. Man, she admitted to being with other dudes. Everything. When I met her, she was already messing with other, other people person. when I first met her. You I know said what I'm there saying? was another person. The yeah. first, I got man, this, and then she trying to say, the baby mind, the time don't need the timeline don't even add up. It does. It don't add up. It does. So, Mr. Cooper. <laughs> yes. You submitted a calendar to the court. I would like to have you come step up to the monitor and explain this exhibit you've brought. Yes, Your Honor. You see right here? Yes. In the week of September, this is the first time we had sex. I wore a condom. Nope. Second time we had sex was this week through the 28th. And I remember it. It was threesome. We was all drunk. You are, you are definitely a lie. How are you so sure you wore the condom? Judge, I woke up with it on. <laughs> oh! He I woke up with it on. It was on me. And the second time we had sex it was wasn't it until after Jaden was born. Okay. Uh, so it was going you sound on dumb. That. It was you on. Sound dumb. Okay. But can I can I finish talking? I'll let you talk, please. You've been talking the this third whole time. time the you third time and bash me. we had sex, I didn't wear a condom. And so you say this whole timeline doesn't lead <laughs> to what ultimately is determined to be the window of conception. My point is exactly. All right, so let's figure that out. You may step back to the plaintiff's podium and let me do my own calculation. <laughs> let me get the um, conception calculator here and let's go to work. All right, so let's start with when was Jaden born? May 27, 2016. May 27, 2000 what? 16. 16. Jaden was born. Let me get that date in. Got it. If we hit calculate, the conception window would have been between September 2nd and September 6th, and the most probable time of sex would be between August 30th and September 6th. Judge, so, I told so let's go back to your calendar, saying. Mr. Cooper. It's off. You just explained it. I couldn't say no. And back. you claim during that particular sexual encounter, you wore a condom. I sure did the first two times. Nope. Not the third we time. Didn't not have, in October. We didn't have I did. I'm not gonna lie. Same year. I, had a few, I had a few drinks. You got caught slipping. Oh, more than I, a few. I, I was more than slipping. I was falling. <laughs> I don't know what to say, Judge. All right. You so you're not. saying that in your calculation you were not having sex with Miss Canterbury during the window of conception. Right. But you disagree, Miss Canterbury. Yep, I do. First of all, we didn't have uh, sex three times in the same year. We had sex one time in 2015. The other two times were after Jaden was born. He was trying to get me pregnant. He y said... Your Honor, no, I Hold wasn't. on. The first time you ever had sex, he says, I want to get you pregnant? Yes. Yes. Oh, not today. Yes. You ain't gonna do this, not today. She's lying. Wait, what did he Look, say, um, Miss... What did he say, Miss Canterbury? He said, I want you to have my baby. That's what he said. And I don't, I don't want to, you know, really Look say this, but tell me, he slept with me, me all that. night, so... Look at me, my... I, I said with her all night. I was there. We, no. We have sex all night. In me, like... I never told her I wanted so, to have my baby. I never said you're that. You're a lie. It never you're came out my mouth now once. Never. I wouldn't even think about it. And which kid. month was this, Miss Canterbury? August. Oh, okay. Now I'm gonna say this one time. Can I say something, Judge, please? You but August was not on your exhibit, Mr. Cooper. So right. because he don't know what he's talking about. 
I, he just looks dumb. He don't know I, what he's talking ooh, about. I do know what I'm talking about. You don't. You don't. And why, why could it not be August, Mr. Cooper? Jaden was made in August. I ain't touched back down to Toledo to September. Do the math, add it up. We just did it. We okay. Just it. You can say what you want, but I don't care. I really know the truth. So, All these people don't know the truth, but I know Ms. the truth. Ms. Canterbury, I need to ask you. So, obviously, Mr. Cooper has not been stepping up. Nope, not at all. Doing anything for nope. Jaden? Nope, nothing. Who's been Jaden's father My figure? boyfriend, Casey. So, your boyfriend has had to step up and be a father figure to Jaden. Yes, he's... We've been together... <laughs> we've been together since before Jaden was one years old. So, he's been here. He's taken care of him financially. He's been here, taught him things. He's been the only father figure in his life. They're very close. Now, Your Honor, may I say something? Now, I just sat here and told you my mama got attached to that baby, right? I just said that, right? So, you think I'm gonna disappoint my mama even though I feel that doubt? I'm not about to have my mama look at me because she ain't raised that type of man. Whether I do or I don't know, that's why we're here to find out today what y'all need to find out. Because you say your mother has just decided it's our baby. Yeah. My mama put the roll on me. Look at that. Y'all see that? They look just alike. Look Man, at that looks, nose. Look looks at that nose. Look at that forehead. Look Man, at those eyebrows. About, about my... Looks are deceiving. No. Nope. I'm pretty sure you see looks are deceiving every day in this court, Judge. <laughs> they are deceiving. <laughs> don't let nothing fool you. I he's, don't know if That's you are the is. father or not, but you are definitely theatrical. You are a thespian. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. At the end of the day, we are not in the theater. We are in the courtroom. Exactly. I ain't here And to that's argue. because a baby, up. no, a baby's life is really at stake here because he's two. He ain't asked to be And here. he did not. And he's a beautiful and he's little fine boy. Without you. And he should know who his mm -hmm. biological father is. Right. He deserves yep. to know that. What are your hopes, Mr. Cooper? You say your mother is so attached to Jaden. What are you hoping for today? Your Honor, I came here to prove that I wasn't a father. That you were not. Yes, I'm not. But then as I sit here and say that, if that cuss come back that I'm not that father, that's gonna break their hearts at home. Because they got so attached to him. How about you, Ms. Canterbury? What's your hope today? Um, I just hope that, you know, the test results prove that he's the father and that he could step up, be a man, be the father that he should be. And what if he's not Jaden's biological father? He's still... He's fine without... He's fine without it. He got Casey, he got me. He don't need... He don't need anybody else. Do you know where the other potential father is? Yes. And he's... He's... Oh, he, but... I, I... He ain't nothing either. Uh, oh! I already it's said it. Up. I already oh. said it. But you, you don't, ain't, can't nobody hear me because you keep talking. Oh, they, we all just heard you. I'm pretty sure everybody heard that in this room. Yes, and I said Judge, it was that? somebody else. I always hear. That's what I'm sitting on That's this bench to do. Because she already knows what I said. Yes, there was somebody else, like I said, and I know where he's at, but he's... Just like Anthony, he ain't... Go he ain't find him. him. Mm, this is something right. that came out from day one. Okay, you could be quiet, because yeah, you look really right. dumb. Listen, yeah, listen, right. listen. We have the truth. Now we know there is another possible father. Let's get the results. Jerome, I'm ready for it. Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Cooper versus Canterbury. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. When it comes to two-year-old Jaden Canterbury, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Cooper, you the father. Like I said, like I said, like I said. Yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. You are the father. Thank you, Your Honor, for those results. <laughs> I will leave you alone.
I would no, do everything you, won't you want me to do. Because you got a, a uh, two-year-old, a three-year-old to take care of. I'll do everything you need me to do. Yeah. I got you. Now okay. I will contact okay. you myself. I won't go to nobody else. Listen, right. Othello. <laughs> Listen. Your new name is Othello. <laughs> you have performed up in here. But I have to honestly say, even though you bout crazy, Mr. Cooper, uh, <laughs> I think you'd be a good dad. I really do. I really do. Thank you, Your Honor. And I think that you want to be. It is time for you to step up and let it be known for Jaden, who his dad is, that you care about his well-being. Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to do that? I've been prepared since 1994. <laughs> what happened in 1994? The day I came out my mama, I was great. <laughs> I'm glad. I guess that means you were born a man and you're gonna be a man for this baby. Is that the translation? Yes, ma'am. All right, I'll take it. You're making babies, now you gotta grow up, and you have to make sense of this for the child, all right? Yes, ma'am. I wish you all the very best. Court is adjourned. <laughs>